today we're going to be slapping on the type s oil pump on the tsx motor i've got it just loosely fitted right here with these two bolts um, then i took a sharpie and i marked where i need to cut this is just an oem pump i bought uh, hasn't been ported or, or modded or cut so we're gonna have to be doing the cutting ourselves and uh, it looks like we're gonna go all the way up top and just use a uh, cutting wheel on a grinder or a cutting disc cut a couple slots into there break those pieces off and then use a bench grinder to kind of clean it up, flatten it out, and then um, flatten this part right here right before we get to the threads. I've got the K20 oil chain, a bolt, and I believe this one's for the back side right here. I've got the old bolts um, from the old oil pump, or I guess the TSX oil pump. Those 10 millimeter bolts should work for the plate. Old chain there, I'm not gonna be using. Um, so yeah, let's just hop into it and start cutting this thing. So all these things that I've got in my shop, all these tools, the one thing I don't flip and have is a vise. But I've got another engine stand, so I ran one bolt through right here a couple washers and just bolted it down it's uh, fairly snug on there and it's not going to fall over um, i taped up the oil passages and the suction end um, after we are done before we take that tape off we're probably going to want to blow this out make sure we get any of that uh any of those aluminum shavings out uh, before we get this thing installed now just make sure you're not cutting in the vicinity of your open motor I got it uh, wrapped up and I moved it away from where we are going to be cutting just got a bunch of little slots in there um, and what I'm gonna do is grab a pair of pliers and just break those off Now we're just going to throw on our uh, 60 grit flapper disc and uh, get this cleaned up just a little bit. Test fitting it here, we can see that right here we just got to take uh, some more off. So we'll go ahead and do that on the uh, bench grinder now. That right there is a beautiful fit. Did grind it slightly at an angle. The threads are all still um, intact. I didn't grind all the way through. Um, but it's just barely floating over that lip. You look right here. I did have to slightly notch that uh, corner a bit. And the same thing with the opposite side. But uh, we got this thing cleaned out with some brake parts cleaner. Braid it down with uh, compressed air before that. Um, and I even threw just a little bit of oil inside there. TSX oil pump sits and it covers this entire area right here. Um, and if you look right here, you've got a uh, tiny little hole and uh, oil squirts out of that. So we're going to grab a pick, 
uh, mortar screw, shove it in there, try to pull that out. Um, and then I believe a, uh, like a 12 millimeter bolt should be able to go in there with a little bit of Honda bond uh, to get that sealed off. This does have a thread in it, so we're going to get a little 12 millimeter bolt. I'm going to go rummage around in my bolts to find one. I've only got like a million bolts. Try that one. Threads aren't too deep on that by the looks of it, so I don't want to use the long one. Try to wind these little shorties. I think that'll work. We probably got about, well, let's back it out. About a quarter inch of the thread. I think that'll work just perfect. Get a little bit of a Honda bond on that thing and uh, torque it down in there. Okay, make sure to use a uh, Honda Bond. Anything else like Permatex will probably fail. All OEM here, you know what I'm saying? Chain needs to go on first onto the pump and then we can just slide it around right here actually it's easier on the bottom side there's no timing on this so don't worry about that slide it on the pump and then get this pump seated oh yeah beautiful now we can torque this down Alright, so pretty much that is it. That's what it takes to throw the K20 oil pump on the TSX motor. So I think that's where I'm going to leave this video off at. This is the OEM Type S oil pump, not the 4 piston. And obviously, if you guys are going to be going that route, it is ported out. So you can rev a little bit higher, um, I believe 9, nine grand uh, safely. Um, and then the Type S, uh, you want to hang out around like... 8,000 8, RPMs. I mean, that's what they recommend. I've seen people running way higher than that, um, and I guess they just get lucky. Um, I'm not going to be running past eight grand um, on my stock pump. I believe I was running at like 72, and I was fairly happy with the uh, power I was making, so we'll bump it up a little bit higher. Obviously, the four piston one comes pre cut, ported out, so it's a little bit easier, less work if that is the route you are planning on going. This job is easier done pulling the motor out rather than uh, try to do it from the bottom. Uh, frankly, to be honest with you guys, it's not that much work to pull that motor out. Um, if you guys are a little lost, I have a video on my site um, how to pull a motor out, and I did that by myself. I think it took me like four hours with recording. So if you have a buddy to come help you, you could get it out in like an hour or less. Uh, if it's your first time, it might take you a little bit longer. Um, but it's pretty straightforward. You could pick up a really cheap engine stand and a 
engine hoist, you know, off of Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace, for pretty dirt cheap. Um, I actually came across mine for free. Um, but that's that's my honest opinion. I've I've had DTSX or TSXs for about uh, four or five years now. I think I'm on like my fourth. Uh, but I remember doing my timing chain, my oil pump with it in the car, and it was it's doable, but it's uh, it's a lot easier pulling the motor out. It seems like it's scary. There's a bunch of stuff, um, you know, could get screwed up along the way, but. My honest opinion pull that motor out one of the main things also um, why I'm for pulling that motor out so you've got your motor upside down you drain all your oil out and uh, you're going to put your oil pan back on uh, you're gonna have a bunch of oil still dripping down and it could get on your sides when you're putting your uh, oil pan on with your Honda bond and once you get any oil in between there that is no longer going to hold a seal. So with that motor out upside down, you can clean it with some brake parts cleaner, make sure it's nice and dry. Both of your mating surfaces are clean. Um, it's just going to be uh, better in the long run. And while you're at it, you can clean your motor out. It's going to be out, replace maybe your uh, gaskets on the side um, and just give it, give it a little bit of, you know, loving. So that's my opinion. Um, from my experience, I've pulled out probably five of these motors by now. Uh, by, by no means am I an expert. If you have a lift and you can drop the subframe, that would be probably pretty easy as well. Uh, most of us don't have a lift. But if you have access to one, that is another option as well. So I'll just leave it at that, boys. So uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video.